folks in the heart of America, in Washington. You can see the, uh, the Washington penis behind me. Normally, of course, this is all awesome looking and full of water. But of course, when I turn up, it's drained and frozen over because it's absolutely freezing. It's very, very cold. I thought here's the perfect place to do what I call the States of the Smithereen Union Address. There can be no smithereen whitewash of the smithereen white house. So, what is the state, the current state of the smithereen union? What's going on? Well, I'll tell you. I'm in the states at the moment. I'm moving around the place uh, and I'm working on finishing the story that's been released in parts to uh, my Patreon subscribers. They've already got the first two parts. It's not being released in parts in, say, the same way as the Black Room books are because they, they were longer. But when this is done, I'm thinking it's probably going to be probably twice as long, I think, maybe, roughly, as the recent novellas like Do Anything and um, My Name is Mr. Grief, etc. Uh, and He Waits and that kind of thing. So that's the first part. Secondly, and here's uh, an exclusive. It's time to crack these bad boys out as well. It's fucking freezing here. The old foot warmers here. Probably for ages 60 and up, but I don't give a shit. Have you ever seen my toes? They're like skeletons, like a skeleton dick. Um, some of you will remember, or may remember, that I mentioned my first novel. Now, when I say my first novel, I don't mean The Physics of the Dead. I mean the first novel I ever wrote, um, which I had the title at the time of The Diary of Nigel Carmelite. Um, which I said would never see the light of day because one, um, well actually the main reason being it's essentially uh, kick-ass, the, the, the film and comic kick-ass. Um, but I wrote it like 10 years before, sorry, eight years before the comic of kick-ass came out. But, and there was only like, I think two or three, I don't have the original, I didn't have the original digital file anymore either because I wrote it a long time ago back when it was still on floppy disk and so the only sort of copies of it were uh, physical copies that I, I had one a friend of mine had one uh, and there's maybe one other somewhere as well um, so I couldn't really do anything with it and then recently I went back and had a little look at it and realised well hang on Kick-Ass was a lot more over the top and even that was supposed to be the idea of somebody trying to be a, a superhero in the real world it still was very kind of silly and oh, I really enjoyed it but it's very silly and, and unrealistic whereas mine was a lot more realistic and the main guy was not the most socially well adjusted of people um, so having flicked through I thought right I want to use this how can I do it seeing as I don't have the file but I realised I could have the, all the pages of the copy I had scanned then through a process that some of you may have heard of called OCR which effectively means scanning physical documents and turning them into text. And paying somebody to basically go through and clean it up. I could have a copy of the text, that's now done. Now it needs a redraft and... <coughs> excuse me. It needs a lot of redrafting and the ending needs changing. But that's going to be done. But that's not going to... Hmm, that's not going to see the light of day for some time because um, I'm going to be planning this, I'm going to be putting some things into practice to try and make this uh, a better launch, a more effective launch. Um, so that's probably not going to come out until the autumn. Uh, the Patreon story that I'm working on should come out uh, maybe, maybe a month, maybe two months I think. And then in between that coming out and uh, the Diary of Nigel Carmelite, which will have a different title. There should be uh, another story out. So hopefully a novella in about two months, uh, another one maybe two months after that, and then hopefully and may maybe another one before the full-length novel. So those of you that have been waiting for a full-length novel coming out, there'll be one coming out at the end of this year. Uh, there's something else I'm working on I can't tell you about yet. See, I, I don't really know why, but in my mind, I always imagined that the White House was 
out because you, you see the, the lawn outside the White House and all that sort of stuff and, and, and I just assumed it would be on the outskirts of the city. I mean, over there, look at this, there's a town kind of around. And then you turn around and there's... There's a freaking White House right there. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed because um, they went on the inn and I, I, met, I met the president today. I met him and he said if I gave him five dollars I could come and have a look around. You know, it was, I was a bit surprised because he wasn't wearing any trousers and he asked for five dollars and his hair was all over the place but he, he said that he let me in and I, I, quite frankly I got threatened trying to get in so that's a bit embarrassing. And here under the gaze of Abraham Lincoln I think it's only appropriate to get a final word from Honest Abe himself. Abe, do you have any words for the Smithereen Union? Don't forget to leave your reviews and sign up for the mailing list, you fucking assholes.